Hey YouTube, uh, welcome to my new pool project. Um, some is coming, so time for another project. Um, I'm putting up one of those, it's a Best Way or Coleman or Intex soft wall pool. Uh, they're all pretty much the same. Uh, the one I have is a, a Best Way 20 foot round. A um, couple of things I've actually already done is, this is the area where it's going. I picked up some marker paint. Basically, I wanted to figure out exactly where the pool is going to sit because you need to level the ground. And I don't know if you can see that in the video, but my ground is not level. Uh, hence, some of the topsoil I have to level things out. Um, the only thing I did was I measured in the middle halfway and I put a stake down and I tied a string to it, which is half the distance. In my case, 10 foot. I just went a couple inches over 10 foot and... I took some marker paint and I literally walked around with the marker paint and I sprayed a circle just so I could have everything marked out. Now what I'm doing is I took a couple of stakes and I put them in the ground past each corner and I'm laying that out now. I actually just stopped because I um, figured it was a good time to at least start the video. This is going to help me level everything out. Basically what I'm doing is I'm tying a string to each one of the stakes on the corners and I'm gonna use my level and make the string level and then it'll give me a pretty good idea of um, how much soil I need to add and where I need to add it. Um, so anyway, that's where I'm at now. So I'm gonna finish tying up uh, my string and then I'm gonna level everything out. <laughs> all right, so I laid out my string on all sides. If you could see from here, I got quite a gap that I'm gonna to have to fill. I'm gonna fill all this in with topsoil. I'm not going all the way to the corners. I'm gonna go around where the pool is, but I got quite a bit of topsoil. See, so I'm high here, but I'm gonna to have to fill down here. So if you can see that, this way it'll get me mostly level. Um, it doesn't have to be perfectly level, but you want it to be within reason. Um, you need a mostly level surface. Anyway, uh, now it's time to fill it up with some topsoil. Alright, so I need to pick up more topsoil, but this is a good start. If you see now, I don't know if you see underneath, but this part is actually level, but I need to fill in, and I'm going to have to level the whole thing, so I still need a bunch more, but um, we're getting there. Okay, YouTube, so I finished leveling everything out. I actually, because I went so thick, I went as thick as one of these garden blocks, which is about five inches. That's sort of um, a long way to have to level. So I actually put up a retaining wall. Um, probably could I have gotten away without it? Maybe, um, I don't wanna have a problem with it. So this will hold back all the soil for the pool just fine, so. Um, this is it, right now I'm, I'm in pretty good shape. I'm pretty much ready. Everything is pretty much level now. And uh, I'm almost ready to open up the pool and um, start putting it together. All right, YouTube, I'm just about to get started. Um, something I wanted to bring up. So I'm putting up, mine is a best way pool, best way, Intex, uh, Coleman. They all pretty much work the same. I, it wouldn't surprise me if the the best way makes the Coleman's, I know, but it wouldn't surprise me if Intex, if they're all made by the same company. I had an Intex one years ago, and that one came with a tarp to put underneath. This one actually didn't, so I actually went out and bought one because I do think the tarp is important to have um, just to give you that extra layer of protection if you're going directly on the ground like I am here. So I'm going to lay out the tarp, and we're going to get this started. All right, YouTube, I have my tarp down. Now we're gonna take the pool and we're gonna roll it out. The tarp is just to give it some protection underneath. All right, so we've laid out the pool liner itself. We have it generally where we want it. Now we're gonna start putting in the top rails and the poles. Um, so that's our next step. All right, YouTube, we're gonna start putting together the top rail, but I wanted to show you something first, because the directions, no surprise, are terrible. So the way this works is 
These are the corners for the top rail, and this is the rail that goes through. So the piece that has this end, those go through the top. You'll see that in a minute. And these are the legs. So the legs go through the bottom. Basically, the difference is really that the legs look like this. They don't explain that to you, so it takes sort of a couple minutes to look at it and figure it out, but that's how that works. The top rail's in for the most part. The reason why I'm filming this part is this is the part that's going to be a little bit of a challenge, getting in the last piece. So what I did is I didn't put in the pegs for this on either side yet because we're going to slide these back. I'm actually going to hand this off to my assistant. So we got that in, believe it or not, that went a lot easier than it sometimes does. Sometimes you really have problems with the tension on this. Uh, next up is the legs, which we're going to start putting in a couple of legs. We're going to have to dig in our stones to do that too. Rolling. All right, we're starting to put the legs in. Um, putting stone under the legs to help uh, support distribute the weight uh, works much better. You got to make sure these legs are level, left to right and front to back. So you want to make sure as you're going along that your legs are level. We're going to keep checking this as we go along because these are going to move until we get water in the pool. But this gives us a pretty good idea of where it's got to go. So we're going to keep leveling this and checking the level as we go along. All right, we got all the legs in. Now we're going to have to level these as we go along, but let's put the ladder in. We're going to go inside the pool now and we're going to start pushing out the wrinkles. That's going to be our next step. Okay, so now we're in the pool. We're starting to put a little bit of water, but first thing we're doing is you got to try and get all the wrinkles out. Now, there's a couple of different techniques to do that. We're starting off by just kicking out the side because there's really not much water in there. Once we get a little bit of water in there, we'll show you what we're going to do to try and get uh, the rest of the wrinkles out. Okay, so now the idea is we have, uh, we're putting a little bit of water in the pool. We need to get the wrinkles out. The best way to do this is to put two people in the pool on opposite sides of each other and do a little jump and kickbacks at the same time. Go ahead and keep moving around the pool. Kim. Wait for her. I'll do it again. Yep. Go ahead. Yep. And you're just going to keep doing that around the pool. Remember, you got to keep after you do this, you're going to have to level the legs. So we're going to have to level our legs again. Okay, YouTube. As this is starting to fill, I keep checking it for levels and I keep adjusting it. Very important, these need to be level. So you need to make sure as you're going along that you're checking all your legs because they will keep moving until you get some water in the pool. All right, we're to the point now where we're actually starting to connect the filter, but I want to show you guys something. So, A, we connected this. Look on the outside, look on the inside. So we connected that into A, which goes to one side of the filter. 
what they don't explain is so on my pole we have two bees so each one of the bees we've put in here and then they're going to connect with that t connection and this hose and then they connect to the other side why they do it like that i'm not really sure i actually bought a heater that i'm going to put in between there but we're going to get everything connected up correctly first i don't worry about the heater but that's how that looks like it goes all right so we have this on now that's the way it worked put it on with their clamps i'm gonna have to change those out for better clamps the ones they give you are kind of crappy but um that connects to there that connects to your filter and um that's how it's that's how basically how it goes for the filter the instructions are absolutely terrible so you're gonna have to figure this out on your own or if you watch it here maybe it'll give you some insight all right let's keep going all right so the pool's almost full um it's got about another seven or eight inches and then i should be all set um i'm showing this from the top of my deck just so you can get a better idea of what this looks like but this really came out great um couple of things one is um i was able to find i found a heater actually for the pool that runs on 110 not 220 uh so it, you know it's i think 120 volts um i forgot the name of it but i'll actually put the link in the description for anybody that's interested in it but it's the only model i found that actually runs on 110 so it's pretty cool so i still have to connect that up i ordered a hose online i'm just waiting for that Maybe I'll even do a separate video on that. We'll see. But besides that, um, this project's good. Very important to make sure you try and make things as level as possible and keep it level. But besides that, I think this is going to work out great for the summer. We're looking forward to it. Anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.